Hey, good morning, everybody. Greg Buckley from Buckley's Auto Care. And today, we've got a lesson on renting a vehicle. All right. How to rent a vehicle, what to look for in when renting a vehicle, and why you want to be a little bit proactive on just exactly what you're driving. Okay, so recently you understand that we've my, took my family to Boston and you know we had a great time to not take away from the experience of enjoying a great city uh, up north. And fortunately, uh, we arrived home safely. But nonetheless, some of the things that went on uh, even kind of surprised me and, and, and actually got me. But let's let's learn a lesson here. No matter who you're renting from or the reasons why you rent, you want to inspect the car and do a walk around for yourself. Now. It's not expected and certainly in the rush and uh, of everything going on, whether it's from an airport or here locally, you don't even think about it. Why? Because you trust that what you're renting is going to be safe and sound and to provide you good transportation from point A to point B to your destination. But let's take a reason why we want to take a, t a moment and just go over some of the things that, well, surprised even me. So. We're gonna go up here and we're gonna take a look at the tires. All right, now, this is the first indication that I got while we were driving, as soon as we hit highway speeds at about 65 or 70 miles an hour, the vehicle started shaking violently and it would not recover well after a bump, okay? So stabilization issues. Uh, we could feel in the wheel. In fact, all the passengers could feel in the whole cab, which is kind of unusual, but it let you know how violent this this vibration is and of course here's one of the reasons why I want to come down to you and I want you to see these tires this is what I hope I'm getting it yeah I am this is what we were allowed to take off the lot all right you can see up in here hopefully you can that these spots are the last bit of protection you have before you hit steel cords now it's actually kind of softer here but that's the shoulder and this tire is actually broken it is it, you, it's hard to see but you can see where the, um, the the breakage is occurring actually the shift is occurring the shift in the belts excuse me so it caused a little bit of uh, irritation to say the least all right and then coming up here we're hitting the brakes and again I hit the brake and I start to hear a violent grind First a small squeal, then a violent grind. Now you can't see it from here, but on the back side there's nothing left of this rotor. Uh, again, it should not have been, this vehicle should not have been placed in service, no matter what this situation was. And we can prove that, see our, our low brake fluid right in here, we're down below the minimum level, indicating that there's a, you know, a piston full of fluid there trying to keep pressure on everything and to finalize everything one of the most indicator one of the best indicators is we're showing about 37,000 miles on this vehicle we put approximately 600 or so on here maybe 700 but up in the windshield it was due at 27,000 miles not 37,000 so at short 10,000 miles overdue on a service and that's totally unacceptable but again the way that rental cars operate they have a budget and believe me we used to do a lot of service work as some other professionals have and maybe still do they do service work on these cars and they're very strict on what they want to spend on making these vehicles road worthy well I think this one fell through the cracks pretty heavily uh, but it could be understood because their practices are if it if it doesn't need it we won't do it there's no proactiveness in my experience working with firms such as Enterprise where we rented this from or Hertz or Avis or any of those so little things like this made it for a very irritating drive uh, a very untrustworthy drive no confidence behind the wheel especially when you're traveling with traffic between 65 and 75 miles an hour and of course with yesterday's heavy rains coming all the way down from Boston to Wilmington it kind of made things a little sketchy. So look, do yourself a favor. No matter what you're running from, no matter where you're running, always take the time to do a walk around on the car. And I mean, take a look at the rear tires as well. All right, take a look, do a video like, like here, okay? That's something, if I got that right, okay, you see the dents? So before I rent it, I did a video and I walked around the whole truck, made sure that we pointed out each and every dent, scratch, 
you name it. That's why you have your smartphone with you or your device. So take a moment, be sure of what you're renting, and make sure that it's safe and sound. All right. Just a short little tip here on a Monday morning. Greg Buckley, Buckley's Auto Care. As always, have yourself a great day. See you.